Revenue management is a new way of submitting your electronic claims. It'll give you really three main benefits, and uh, those benefits are up here. It'll give you claim level EDI reporting and history. So what does that mean? It'll take an EDI report that comes back to you, break it up into all of the different pieces, and drop it onto the claim. So if you are working your rejections, you don't have to go back and forth from a report to the system. The system has all of the information that's applicable for that claim right there on the claim. It also gives you pre-claim editing. Pre-claim editing does things like CCI, LMRP edits, as well as custom edits that you can create in your office. If you can say, I know that these claims that I'm doing have to have this, you can create that edit and have all of the claims go through a scrub so that a claim does not go out without your approval based on the scrubbing that you've set up. It also gives flexible ERA posting, and I'll talk about those in a little bit more detail as I show them up on the screen. So here's the new revenue management screen that lists out all the claims that we have. It's very similar to claim management that you've seen before, where we have different listings for each claim that is created. What you'll see right here is the edit status from the pre-claim editing. Right now, all of these claims have not been checked. You, you, they haven't been scrubbed. Let's move on to the next screen. After they're scrubbed, you'll see either that the claim passed the edits, there's a warning that says there might be something wrong with this, but you can still send it out, or there's an error with the claim where it didn't pass the edits that you have set up. You want to go correct that before you send the claim out. So this is going to ensure that you can go work those claims before you submit them to the insurance carrier, to the clearinghouse, so that you get paid the first time, rather than waiting on a rejection to go out and come back in. This next screen shows what you can see on a claim level basis. So right here we see all of the procedure codes that are attached to that particular claim. You also have a history tab that'll show you when the claim was submitted, any scrubbing that was done on it, and any reports that come back, including your remittance. So all of that's listed here on this history tab. When you click there, it'll tell you the exact dates that each of those different steps happened. And then finally, you'll have an edits tab where if you use the scrubbing, you can see what's wrong with the claim. For this particular claim, we have a warning that says the selected diagnosis codes are not specifically listed for this procedure code. So you have a mismatch here of a diagnosis code that could potentially not get paid for the procedure code. If you correct that now, you'll get paid on the claim. If you don't, there's a chance that you won't. So that's another way that Metasoft is looking to give you the tools that you need to get paid faster so that your office maintains the cash flow that you need to stay financially viable. This is our new ERA user interface within revenue management for Metasoft version 16. The remittance posting that Metasoft has had historically would let you post an entire file or none of the file. If it posts the entire file, you had to accept what was going to be posted and all of it was going to be posted exactly as it was sent back from the insurance carrier. You didn't have any control over how that posted. It was just whatever the insurance carrier said is what's going to post. With Metasoft 16 and revenue management, you have complete control. What the remittance is going to do is read into this and you have the ability to say, you know what? I don't want to post this payment. I'm going to leave it off. It's wrong. I need to fix it. I need to change it. I'm going to post it the way that I want to. This is, this is going to be critical because there are mistakes that come in these files. There are some times where you've deleted a charge somewhere and it comes back and it tries to post the remittance to the wrong charge or it doesn't know where to post it. You don't know how to get it in. Our remittance posting system now will let you go specify where you want to post that particular line item. So there's things like that where giving you control over it. One, it increases the responsibility on you because if you change something, then there's not really all that much that the insurance carrier or we can do about it, but it does give you the flexibility to make the changes that you need to the file as it comes in.